everybody welcome back my name's Claire I'm going to do a Dutch pour on a black base I've just done a Dutch pour on a black base and I was blown away by it I've not I've not used Amsterdam oxide black before and the the effects were just stunning they were amazing the colors just the contrast between the black and the colors were just amazing I loved it um, so same oxide black um, base by Amsterdam but with a totally different color scheme um, on a slightly larger canvas I've got a 50 centimeter square canvas um, I'm just going to just have try and achieve a, just an explosion of color um, in contrast to the black here are my colors I'm starting to reuse all my uh, plastic bottles at home at the moment. So these are all shower gel bottles, I think, um, that, but they're great because they're clear. So you can mix the paint in them and then see the colour through. Um, so it really helps when you're choosing your colours just to really try and visualise the colours together. So these four colours are all Amsterdam. This is, and I write on the top what they are, Ultramarine Violet Light, King's Blue, White, Primary Siam. These two are Pebio Studio acrylics, so iridescent blue, green and silver. And then I've got a Dela, no, a Royal and Langnickel colour, dark cobalt violet. And then a Dela Rowney colour here, which is, uh, they call purple. Um, so that is on my, oh, I haven't got the black here. This is the black though, the Amsterdam Oxide Black Base. All the paints in these bottles are mixed all exactly the same way um, to a recipe that I'm going to, I'll put the recipe in the description of this video. The only difference is the iridescent ones, the recipe contains more water than the rest. So the recipe will be in the description of the video. So first thing I'm going to do is cover my base in the black. So what I'd like to do is pour some paint on and then use a hairdryer just to blow that paint out so it's nice and even. Right, well, if you thought that was a bit strange, I was blowing all the paint this way, I realised that I had just put far too much paint on my canvas. So I've blown up the paint over on the edge here, and then I'm going to just collect it up, um, and then I can put it back in the pot and use it um, for another pour. I just, I just got a bit heavy handed, I just put far too much on the canvas. So I've just got a, a silicon spatula, and they, I can just pick it up, it takes a bit of... Um, time but it just means I can save that paint instead of it just be going to waste my idea for the composition is to have some paint starting here and then quite small and then I want to somehow i think blow it around and out do you know i don't really know i i want some sort of curve and some sort of unusual composition but i often find i don't quite know what i want until i actually go to do it so i'm now now i've got my canvas i've got the black i'm just visualizing it so i definitely want to start about here or maybe higher i just i kind of envisage a bit of a curve with a bit of black negative space there and there. But I've got my order here and I'm going to start with the pale ultramarine violet light. And I like to start with a light colour on a dark base. So I think I'm just going to pour some on with kind of what seems right. Or I could go up like that and then down like that. There you go I've worked it out you just have to go I think with instinct sometime so my plan I think is to have some negative space here and here and then this just big wave of color so 
So now I've got my rough shape, I'm just simply going to do a little bit of wiggle, a few wiggly lines over the paint that I've put down there. Maybe, yeah, there you go, even in the middle. Just so I know I've got a really nice solid colour in that middle bit. Right, I'm really happy, but I just think I if I would quite like to have brought the colour up here a little bit more. So I'm just going to just add a little bit more. then I think I might start blowing from here and then I can blow out that way and up that way so I think that would work quite well right I wonder how this is going to turn out I'm excited to find out let's just get rid of that blob Burst the air bubbles. I can't see many, but I'll just give it a quick torch. So I'm going to start from this point and I'm going to come this way and then this way. In principle, this is gorgeous. Composition's not right, but I can work on the composition. It's the colours. The colours are absolutely gorgeous. Right, I feel like there's just far too much paint on here. It's gone very swampy in the middle. I think it was the way I blew it out. I don't think I did it as I should have done. I'm gonna, I might regret this, but I'm, I'm not happy. So I'm gonna keep uh, blowing this with the hairdryer. purple that dark purple is massively taking over the cells are coming up instantly of in that purple and it's ruining it in my opinion okay i'm going to put some more paint on i'm leaving out the purple
right, that's looking a bit different. I quite like that. So there's not really negative space now, but it's a real, real impact of colour. Still a bit too much purple here. I wonder if I can just mop some of that up and then blow the other colours over the top. This is an interesting one, not what I was wanting, not what I thought I was going to try and create. Um, it's a composition that has just evolved. Um, I like the composition. Um, I just don't, I'm, I'm not sure how it's going to dry. I'm not sure what I'm going to think of it when it's dried. Um, if you look up close, it's really beautiful. The colours are gorgeous. The cells and the lacing and the little details, the little designs, absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's very very different it's not what it's not what i was aiming for at all um what i love actually is all of this very slight shimmeriness in the black so i decided to blow the paint over the entire canvas can you see there it's just like a slightly green sheen over the top of the black it's really really pretty um i just felt that there was too much contrast with the black corners so i decided to blow the paint everywhere um, so it'll be interesting to see what I think when this is dry. So it's now dry. I've embellished it very, very slightly. Um, can you see that the blue section there, that was blue, but I've just added a bit of extra blue. The pink there, I've just gone over with a little bit of extra pink. There's a few little wiggly lines. I've just gone over with a hint more of that colour, of the same colour on top of the same colour. And just to highlight the colours a little bit more. Um, I'm still a little bit undecided about how I feel about this painting. It's it's so different. Um, I'm, I'm just not sure. Um, there are some beautiful, beautiful designs um, and details and effects within this. Um, some beautiful cells. Um, they're just like, so detailed. Um, and I really like these wispy bits where the colour is just very faintly blown over the black um, and it's really quite shimmery. Um, I like the composition in that it's narrow in the middle there and then it widens and that it's offset and I really like that. Um, I'm just not sure. I would love to know what everybody else thinks because I haven't shown anybody else this piece I, I, so I don't know what anybody else would make of it. I'm, I'm really undecided. Um, so do leave me a comment. Um, let me know what you think of it. Um, yeah, any thoughts you have, that would be great. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.